Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. It is a Wednesday. Can you believe we made it to the middle of the week and uh, people were golfing today across Nebraska? Temperatures in the mid 60s, 55, 65 degrees. I ran into somebody walking the block and they said, uh, yo, yeah, 50 people out of the golf course. Uh, who thought you'd ever be teeing off here on uh, the early part of December? We have just beautifully mild weather today and uh, just thank everybody for uh, tuning in tonight. You probably had a full day. Uh, I wanted to tell you about my day. So this morning about nine o'clock, I had a list of about 30 viewers people that watched this show that had called in during our uh, first ever membership drive and during their conversation with one of the operators for News Channel Nebraska, they asked a question or they wanted some more information or they wanted something changed, uh, you know, with their shirt size or something like that. And so this morning at nine o'clock, I went down the list. There were 30 people and I talked to, uh, I talked to people in Crofton and Wayne and Weston and Grand Island and Shadron, Wahoo. When I talked to her in Wahoo, she says, uh, I'm a Boheem. I want more Leo Lani. I want more Mark Villadol. <laughs> I had the best conversations. I mean, some of these conversations were 20 minutes long. I didn't get out of there until noon. I just sat and visited with 30 people that watched this show from across this state. And we had the best time visiting about the things we do right here. And uh, you are far better listeners than uh, I ever was in school. People that uh, watch this program, we were chatting about Loverboy from one of the bands and Kevin Koopman, and it's just amazing how many connections you can make in this state uh, by talking to somebody. And when I got on the phone with folks, it was like we'd known each other for 10 years. We, we've shared the same experiences on this show. We, we hear the same people, we watch the same entertainers, and uh, I talked to a lot of people that said, oh yeah, as soon as the show starts, I figure out uh, a little bit about the band, then I call my neighbor and I tell her, all right, I really like tonight or we're not gonna watch tonight. <laughs> the honesty that I got to, on the phone today was just fantastic and I enjoyed talking to each and every one of you. And so uh, if you're one of the 30 people or so that I had the chance to visit with from Elkhorn to you name it, uh, North Platte, we just had a great time and uh, I needed that more than uh, anything, just to visit with the people that watch the show and get that direct feedback. So uh, that was almost one up on Mike's mailbag. I had my own. So tonight we have a very special uh, Christmas edition and uh, a returning band, the Kennisons. You remember them? Not, they weren't here too long ago. We wanted to get them back before they got on the road and performed all over the upper Midwest and uh, all over the middle section of the country. And uh, we have them back. Uh, they're coming today from Lyons and Springview and all these rural counties and they're gonna put a great show on for you. You'll also notice we got some, we got some better decor. Uh, there's gonna be a show in here uh, for our TV station that's gonna be taped sometime Thursday and they're classing up our stage a little bit. So every night you're gonna see a little bit more tinsel uh, and maybe even a nice, beautiful tree that rivals the one that the guys put up over here that's a little small and, I don't know, somebody said pathetic the other day. I think it looks nice. Uh, but uh, we are so glad you're here, and unfortunately, we don't have a minister tonight. So we do need your help to get a hold of your pastor and to send us prayers uh, because we need more going into this Christmas season. So tonight, I'll be doing the prayer. Uh, please bow your heads. Uh, dear Lord, thank you so much for everything that you've done to make this uh, a special time for all those that watch and all of us that work here for the camera operators and the master control technicians and all of the uh, entertainers that give of themselves for all the right reasons. We thank you for such a beautiful day in December for everything that we were able to do today and uh, just enjoy one more last gasp of fall. We. Uh, Pray for a safe Christmas season as we celebrate the birth of Jesus and all of the exciting things that are to come here in the next couple of weeks. We pray for children across this state so that they may be uh, inspired by the, uh, the true gift of Christmas and that they may enjoy every 
single moment of time with their family and with their classmates and uh, that this is a special time for them as well as it is for all of us. In your name we pray, amen. All right, let's invite the band up here. We've got a nice crew coming on in. Uh, they did such a good job last time and somebody I really, really, really respect, uh, his name is Dr. Gordon Adams, a longtime uh, family physician and surgeon in uh, the Norfolk area. He told me the other day that uh, he was really impressed by the Kenistons and uh, he loved the fact uh, that they are just down to earth uh, country people. Was, and that is a top compliment from someone that has an, uh, done a lot of service for a lot of families and I thought there's no better way to be described than that. So, Kenistons, welcome back. You've got your contraption over here. Remind me, what is this thing here? This is your this is your drum, right? This is my drum for tonight. Yep, it's called the cajon. Oh, gotta get on that microphone. Okay. It's called the cajon. We kind of yeah. we dealt with this the other night a little bit. But were you sitting down with it at that time or is it always up? There is one that you can sit kind of oh, on, yeah. but that's kind of weird. To fall off sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so raise your hand. You're from Kipaha County. Yes, you, right now, that's where you live. You're all from up there, but uh, uh, Lyons, Nebraska, okay. She is married to him. Notice how, what kind of social distancing they do? <laughs> that's the key to a long marriage, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? That's right. And then you are in what town? Ord. Ord, Nebraska. Allen County. Well, you can't get too s much more spread out than Ord, <laughs> Lyons, and uh, Spring. Spring. Yeah. Springview. All right. What are we going to do tonight? I'm looking. Oh, blue eyes crying in the rain. Who's doing that one? That'd be you. Where's your granddaughter tonight? Well, she's at home. She's so watching on TV, she's probably? She's watching, yes. Well, yep, we say watching. hello to her. She yes. did a wonderful job when she was here last time. What else do we have here? Yellow roses are coming up tonight. Blue oh, Christmas, okay. silver bells. That's yeah. great. Christmas too. Wichita yep. lineman, is that on the list tonight? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, we were supposed to we were supposed Isn't that to supposed to come back, we? Wichita oh, lineman? Were, yes. I guess you'll right. have to have us back again. As yeah, as you're going to have to keep coming back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's just enjoy them. These are the Kenistons from all across Nebraska on News Channel Nebraska. <laughs> Wildwood flower, mighty fine picking, Roger. Good evening to all of our friends out there. Yeah, we're going to do some country music, and we're going to do some Christmas music, and if you feel like dancing, why well, don't let us stop you. We'd love for you to do that. We're going to do a George Strait song here to begin with. This is a little Christmas tune. We, we like the, you know, the country kind of Christmas music especially, so this is one you can dance to. What a Merry Christmas this could be If you would just come back to me And 
this could be if you would just come back to me and say Thank you so much. George Strait song for you right there. So uh, the Keniston family the, has been around a long time in the northern sand hills of Nebraska. And Roger and Vanessa's parents were both musicians. And uh, we like to still do a few of them old songs that uh, they used to play with their mom and dad. So uh, I think Vanessa's going to do an old Bill Monroe song for you right now. Lots of other people have recorded it too. See if you remember this one, a little thing here called When My Blue Moon. Turns to gold again. Memories that linger in my heart. Well, the memories that make my heart go cold. Well, my time may well live them all again. And my blue. To go when my blood moon turns to gold again, when the rainbow turns the clouds away, when my blood moon turns to gold again, you'll be back within my arms to stay. Castles of dreams we built together were the sweetest stories ever told. But someday we'll live them all again, and my blue moon again will turn to gold when my turns to gold again when the rainbow turns the clouds away when my blood moon turns to gold again you'll be back within my arms to stay
turns the clouds away When my blue moon turns to gold again You'll be back within my arms to stay Miss Vanessa doing a fine job. Makes us think of your dear old dad, Mr. Bob Keniston. It makes me think of him, too. Yeah, I don't know how many times we've probably done that with him, but it was a ton. You bet. Old time fiddle player, that's for sure. We miss him. Hey, Roger, do you feel like doing some kind of rowdy song over there? Sure looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt your dreamland slumber over there? Something in the clouds. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Play a song or pick a tune about, or sing or something. Let's pick one. Let's pick one. I can tell you're in a guitar picking kind of mood tonight. So pick on one for us. Let's do uh, this one. <laughs> it requires a capo. Is it one that we like? That's scary. I better saddle up too. Anybody name that tune? <laughs> the legions of folks out there listening yeah. probably remember it. Do you remember what it's called, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> it's an old one. Hey, we're going to let you think on it. And we're going to have Bobby it Joe do a song right very now. Very well could be the Arkansas Traveler. The Arkansas Traveler. Ding, 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 you're the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. That's an old fiddle tune for sure. All right, but, uh, Bobby Joe back there, as Mike said, is from Ord. This is Roger's daughter, and uh, we're going to have her do a song. Are you going to do the uh, song for Shelby? Yeah, you can do that. Too. Yeah, um, Bobby Joe's oldest, oldest youngin, who's not so young oh. anymore, but has I got a birthday I'm tomorrow. I'm, I'm so young, <laughs> she's, she's getting old. There you go. And uh, so we're going to do this especially for you, Shelby. Thank 
just walked on by as I cried. The bottle had robbed him all his rebel pride. So I sang Dixie as he died. Well, way down in the land of cotton all times they ain't near as rotten as they are here on these damned old LA streets then he took a dying breath laid his head against my chest oh please Lord take his soul back home to Dixie I sang Dixie as he died. People just walked on by as I cried. The bottle had robbed him all his rebel pride. So I sang Dixie. He said, listen to me, son, while you still can. Run back home to that sun and land. Can't you see what life here has done to me? Then he closed those old blue eyes. Fell whip gets my side no more. I sang Dixie as he died. People just walked on by as I cried. The bottle had robbed him all his rebel pride. So I sang Dixie. Kenistons right here on News Channel Nebraska. Uh, not only do they perform on this channel from time to time, but they're also on <laughs> RFD. You don't have COVID back there, do you? Uh, no, sir. Just checking. <laughs> You'd be the only one in Ord uh, right yep, now. Yeah, that'd be correct. <laughs> so tell me real quick, you are on the road. We had to get you in early because you're heading mm -hmm. where next yeah, week? Yeah, yeah. Roger and I have been fortunate enough to spend most of the winter uh, down in the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas. Um, unfortunately, this year, many of our uh, jobs have been canceled, um, but we're going to go down to the Houston area and drum up some work down there, I think. And so where will you end up playing down in Houston? Uh, a, few, a few places there that we know. We, Fortunately, in all of our years of playing, we know people all over the country. Oh, I bet you do. So we'll pick up a guitar picker down there or a drummer or whatever we need and Hopefully the girls get to come down for a visit sometime through the winter. So you'll be in some honky-tonk somewhere in Houston, Texas, yeah. and uh, the Kenistons from Keapaha <laughs> County will be holding court. That's right. Uh, that's right. All right. Well, that's good. You'll have to let us know where you're at. Okay. Uh, 
not a lot of people probably traveling this year compared to normal years. Yeah, and you know the Rio Grande Valley has a lot of uh, Canadians. That go oh, down they there. do like that down there. Yes, and they can't even cross the border into the United States, so they won't be down there, and that represents a lot of people that go. Well, down they there. won't let us go to Canada either. What's that, up with that? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna get kind of cold for those Canadians yes, this, uh, it is. this winter, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, we hope you're enjoying the show. This is uh, this is true country music, and we have a little Christmas flair tonight. We want to thank them for being on our program. We want to thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to have more coming up here in just a little bit. If, you, if the band needs to get watered a little bit, now would be the time to... <laughs> You're all watered up. <laughs> well, let's do this. Let's check Mike's mailbag real quick, and uh, then we'll go ahead and check the news here. i got to get up close to the monitor uh, so I can read all this here. Oh, yeah, seeing all the behind the scenes. Hey, here's one. Oh, it keeps changing. This is from Connie in Fullerton. Uh, she says, Dear Mike and QT crew, thank you so much for keeping the entertainment coming. I especially like the country music and the oldies. Well, Connie, uh, you are in luck because we've got a I nice guess. one tonight. Uh, thank thank you for watching in Nance County. That's awfully nice of you. Here's one from Delice in Grand Island. Uh, Delice Kunt. Uh, the Variety 5 band was so good. It's great to have these people do this. The uh, Pamela, Then Pamela Sue was awesome. So many songs, and she could sure sing them. Well, thank you, Delice. Uh, we really appreciate that. Um, and then here's one from Aurora, from Alan and Joyce Holtgren. Uh, Pamela Sue was great. She sings songs we remember. Big bands and country music are also favorites of ours. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you for watching in Hamilton County. Uh, we appreciate you as well, and uh, we would invite you to send us a letter uh, let us know what you like. I'm on the hunt for two things. I need your pastor to do a prayer, uh, number one. And then number two, if you can, and once you talk him or her into that, send us a note with the band that you'd like to see or see more of. That's why we brought the Kennesons back. We just had a great uh, response from people all over the state. Send those notes to me at 214 North 7th Street in Norfolk, 68701. Just a quick note, I did not send out a card for December uh, so, no, you didn't miss one, but I'm going to for sure send one out for January. We got so busy with our membership drive that it totally slipped my mind. But we're going to send one out so you know exactly what we're doing and what dates in January. And you'll get that hopefully before January starts. We're going to we're still trying to firm up a few. Uh, bands are excited to be on, but, you know, just working out the dates can be kind of tough. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to check news and that forecast. We've got some of the stuff falling from the sky later in the week. You're going to want to see what Jeff Fox has to say about that. It's all coming up on News Channel Nebraska. All right, good evening. You are back on Quarantine Tonight tonight here on News Channel Nebraska, and we're just talking to all these ladies here about what they do during the day, and uh, you pretty much ranch, chase cows everywhere. Yes, sir. You're saying it's kind of dusty out there? It is. We, we need some moisture. Yeah. Can you make that happen? <laughs> so what time do you get up in the morning and start working? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's really early. <laughs> These people get up way earlier than I do. What is but early maybe for you? I, uh, well, I'm 7.30. Okay. And you're out running and chasing the cows in the dust? Yeah. Well, it's been dusty. We have wean calves, and it's, it's dusty right now yeah. in the lots and stuff. Yes. Well... You definitely earn your pay doing that. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then back here, we've got, uh, she chases cows and uh, she runs an ALS ambulance from Valley County. I was just asking her if she runs the sirens and lights in Omaha. <laughs> Those Omaha drivers, they pay attention when you're rolling through there? Not much. They see Valley. I think they're used to it. You need a set of bullhorns on that ambulance. That there. they would So that they that know they would Valley County is in <laughs> Douglas County. Yeah. Get out of my way. That's right. And a couple train horns. Yeah, that would be nice. So, you, nice so half time uh, chasing cows and half time taking the ambulance? Uh, more on the medical Ambul side. Yeah. yeah. Off days or It's kind of similar, though, in a way, isn't it? It's, you know, there's a lot of similarities. It's a lot of miles on the road, too. Mm -hmm. I remember one yep. time I was in Omaha and I saw the uh, Atkinson <coughs> um, ambulance screaming through there, and yep. I thought, that's a long haul, you know. It is. And when you're running lights and sirens, there's something pretty there's important. There's something, yep. Yep, there's something going on. Move over. Get out of our way. Yep. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Keniston <coughs> family band here. They are uh, doing a great job with kind of a country Christmas tonight right here on Quarantine Tonight.
Yeah, yes. speaking of country Christmas, we're going to do one here by Michael Martin Murphy. We get a lot of requests for this, and it's a happy little dance tune, so mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy our version of it. little thing here called Two Step Round the Christmas Tree. Just as soon as Roger gets ready. <laughs> While he is, uh, he's putting on his cheater bar. I tried bar. to say it twice. Um, yeah, our, our monitors the are, there they yeah. are. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> That'll help. That will help. Okay, here we go. Michael Martin Murphy tune. Uh, Susie Bogg has had a great cut on this as well, and I'm sure others. Hope you like it. <laughs> There's a wondrous sight and a joyous sound on the Christmas Eve in a western town. Gather up the kids, all the friends and family. As the hollies hung and the candles bright, tuning up a fiddle on a moonlit night. Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Wait beneath the mistletoe, you'll never get a kiss. I never move that slow, there's too much I can there's a western girl who can't be still And a silent night is not for me Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree Oh, roll back the rug. There's a jolly man in a bright red suit. Did you ever see Santa in cowboy boots? Dancing across the room, spurs a jingle and merrily. When they sing those carols, soft and low, we'll all be shouting out, Cotton Eye Joe! Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Wait beneath the mistletoe, you'll never get a kiss. I never move that slow, there's too much I could miss. There's a western girl who can't be still, and a silent night is not for me. Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Once more, rug. Chili green, silver buckles on new blue jeans, dancing round the room to a yuletide melody. I'm gonna be ready when Santa comes, and I'm gonna be dancing till he does. Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Wait beneath the mistletoe, you'll never get a kiss. I never move that slow, there's too much I could miss. There's a western girl who can't be still, and a silent night is not for me. Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Roll back the rug so we can two-step round the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, roll back the rug. I hope you were dancing out there. <laughs> He's having us a big time. Hey, uh, you have noticed, no doubt, that mm -hmm. Roger's playing a different instrument now than he was earlier. He was doing a fine job of picking uh, that old, no. <laughs> big old round hole guitar he was picking earlier. And <laughs> now he's playing an instrument yep, that's called right. a dobro. Maybe, uh, maybe there's been a dobro on the show before. I don't know if there has, but uh, Roger is a 2019 BMAI Dobro Player of the Year. <laughs> So we're going to work him over a little bit. Right now, though, we're going to put Vanessa to work, and uh, she's going to do a really nice John R. Cash song for you. A little thing here called I Still Miss Someone.
sweetheart walk by together and I still miss someone for I never got over those blue eyes I see somewhere When all our love was there. Oh, Miss Vanessa with a Johnny Cash song. That's a beautiful oh, tune. Thank you. And you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. I got to give kudos to my hubby over there. Yes. He also did a fine job on that dobro. <laughs> Sounding good, Roger. You want to pick a tune on the dobro for us? I think you should. Will you? Oh, okay. All right. Get a little gospel sing along here for you. Happens to everybody. <laughs> Just kind of not really ready for it, but everybody kind of stands around and thinks this very same song. <laughs> Standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day, when I 
when I saw that hearse come rolling for to carry my mother away. Oh, the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. behind it, trying to keep a somber face, but I could not hide my sorrow when they laid her in the grave. Oh, the circle be unbroken, by and by, Lord, by and by, there's a better circle be unbroken we certainly hope so that's for sure hey bobby joe you got another song back there you'd like to do for us sure <laughs> how about that loretta lynn song put you on the spot and do one you haven't right. done done for a while. Long while but it's appropriate we need to hear it right now at least i do <laughs> there's bobby joe payboard right here Roger's, Roger's wetting his whistle. Hey, my whistle got dry. <laughs> <laughs> kind That's of appropriate for what we're going to do. Don't come home and drink too much. <laughs> Stay out there on the town and see what you can find. Well, if you want that kind of love, then you don't need none of mine. Well, don't come home a drinking with loving on your mind. Well, you never take me anywhere because you're never home. Then you go out baiting me and I'm crying all alone. Then you come a kissing on me, it happens every time. Well, don't come home a drinking with loving on your mind. Well, don't come home a drinking with loving on your mind. Just stay out there on the town and see what you can find. Well, if you want that kind of love, well, you don't need none of mine. Well, don't come home a-drinking with loving on your mind. One more time, Dan.
town and see what you can find. Well, if you want that type of love, well, you don't need none of mine. So don't come home a-drinking with loving on your mind. No, don't come home a-drinking with loving on your mind. Bobby Joe. Don't do that no more. No, no. no. Leave it to the Keniston family to to save your soul on one song and bury it <laughs> on the next. <laughs> well, uh, we've had our time. That's right. Redemption and salvation is a good thing. Thank you, Bobby. That was good. You're doing a fine job playing that there cajon. It's been a long time. And also referred to as a beatbox. And uh, the technical term for that one is called a slap top cajon. And you too can have yours for only $149.99 <laughs> on, I don't know, musiciansfriend.com or something like that. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, I want you to do a song while Roger's still got a hold of the dobro. We got to do this for Glenda Stevens all the way down in Arkansas. Woo! She said she would love to hear this song. So we're going to do it especially for our friend Glenda. A great old Carter family song going back a long way now. One called I'll Be All Smiles Tonight. I'll take my bow with roses, my loved ones will be there. The chance that others gave me will shine within my tears, and even them that know me. is life though my heart may break tomorrow I'll be all smiles tonight I'll be all smiles tonight love I'll be all smiles tonight Tomorrow I'll be all smiles The room he entered the bride upon his arm. He looked and smiled 
upon her as if she were a charm. So once he smiled upon her and once he smiled upon me and knew not what I'd suffered. He found no change in me. I'll be all smile tonight, love. I'll be all smiles tonight. Till my heart may break tomorrow. Smiles tonight, an old Carter family song that goes back into the 30s, I think. You don't hear it too often, but it's a pretty song, so thank you so much. Hey, we're gonna do another Christmas tune here, and uh, I got a lot of people I need to send this out to. I'm gonna start with Mike and Louise because this is all your fault for introducing this song to me. Then I have to do it for my friend Stoney and Luanna in Ames, Iowa, and Mike and Tisa Hildenbrand in. Winterset, Iowa, and probably a few others as well. Mike but uh, and Louise, in yeah, Mike and Louise are in Houston, Texas, tuning in tonight. So we're gonna do this happy little ditty for you. Hey, you know what? I'll send this out to Mark Jenkins too. He and I have stories that go back and forth about Willie Nelson. So I'll do this for you too, Mark. Sure. <laughs> Hope you like it. All I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas are Willie Nelson tickets this year. Float me down that whiskey river with a cooler full of beer. I'll wear my red bandana, I can smell the smoke from here. All I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas are Willie Nelson tickets this year. Well, I know that I've been naughty, but I always do my best. When you're looking down that Christmas list, please consider my request. If you get me to Texas, I'll bake you a special treat. I'll take care of you, and you take care of me. All I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas, a Willie Nelson tickets this year. Float me down that whiskey river with a cooler full of beer. I'll wear my red bandana, I can smell the smoke from here. All I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas, a Willie Nelson tickets this year. I'll take a piece of that right Stoney and we went there dancing. <laughs> I don't need a new Mercedes, Gucci bag, or Louis Vuitton. I don't even have to wrap them. Come on, I gotta have them. The one thing I'm counting on, please. All I want 
for Christmas, all I want for Christmas are Willie Nelson tickets this year. Float me down that whiskey river with a cooler full of beer. I'll wear my red bandana, I can smell the smoke from here. All I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas are Willie Nelson tickets this year. Yeah, all I want for Christmas, all I want for Christmas, I will and else and take us this Quarantine tonight was that Willie Nelson tickets? Yeah, Willie Nelson tickets. Oh, you could probably still get those, by the way. <laughs> that's a pretty good song. Who sang that originally? You know, that's a fairly new song, as far as I know, by a little gal named Tara Thompson. Oh, very nice. Yep, yep. Well, we hope you're enjoying the Kenistons tonight. Uh, we've got them from all over. We got them from uh, Keapaha County and Lyons, Nebraska, and Ord, Nebraska. They're all here, and you might not know it, but these two brother and sister over here. Now, where do you come into the picture? <laughs> That's my daddy. Oh, That's my, my gosh. This is so aunt. connected. That's my stepmama. This is so connected. <laughs> now, of the two of you, uh, how many years apart? Ten. Ten years. Ten years. And who's older? <laughs> he is older. All right. Did no. Now, growing come up. On, That's my tell the truth. <laughs> you get, tell the truth. You got it kind of rough here because every time one of these women, you know, they all kind of come your direction. Our, uh, I've had a band of my own since 1983, and most of these girls have been in it. And, uh, and kicked I'm, out of it? I'm just pretty much tamed down. I <laughs> <laughs> so him being 10 years older than you growing up, you probably, he, you know, gosh, what kind of stories do we have on this guy? Okay. I have to tell this one because this oh, is this a, is gonna this be good. Is, it is one that sticks out. Okay. And this is growing up in Keapaw County. Exactly, and the farmhouse, uh, twelve miles north of Springview. All right. Okay, so here I am laying in the. We have a huge picture window, and I'm laying in the sun, and I have long blonde hair that comes clear down to here. And you're a and high I, school student. Yeah, no, I'm a little girl, like uh, 10, 12, like Mia was about okay. that age. Okay. I'm laying my head, my hair all flopped out on the on the you know, on the carpet, and here comes my brother with a Kirby vacuum cleaner, <laughs> and he's vacuumed around there, and he's, that thing went clear up to my head, and my mother, she was a Christian woman, but let me tell you, she said a lot of, she said a lot of things. naughty things right then, at him. At him? And then I was screaming, of course. Did they have to cut it out? No. I wouldn't let them do that. Oh, so they, they had unrolled, to unrolled it? it out of there. Literally had to roll it back to get it out of there. <laughs> he had how'd, to help. How'd that go for you on the ranch? <laughs> no, I still remember the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. Yeah. That was a bad one. We've got a lot of other ones, but that You're, was the, probably the worst. You know, one. the nice thing about Keapaw County is you can get in a lot of trouble. But never go to prison up there. <laughs> that's why they call it Mob County, don't yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, hey, this is great to have the Keniston family uh, band here. I tell you what, if you guys want to take off the stage and go uh, and grab something, to, a cool, refreshing treat, uh, Chad Barnhill is waiting to assist you here. And uh, I'm going to real quick, for the benefit of my own mom, bring up uh, my son Brendan and his cousin Ava, uh, my sister's daughter, because we have something big to celebrate here. Um, Ava just turned 16 years old, and uh, she drove for the first time tonight to the show. Is that right? Yep. How yep. does it feel having your driver's license? Very nice. You've been waiting for this for a long time, right? Yes, I took Brendan around the other day. I know. I heard, I heard your uh, cousin... Uh, Brendan uh, was interested. As soon as he found out you got your license, what did he say? He called you and said what? Did you get a car? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Did you get a car? I just did today. Oh, my gosh. And so have you given him a ride yet? No, because it's manual. <laughs> What's it like having a cousin now that can drive, Bla or Brendan? Uh, it's good because I don't always have to drive with my parents then. Yeah, so he's 14, and uh, she's 16, and uh, so she's celebrating her uh, first time with wheels tonight. Do you know how to drive a stick? Um, a little bit. So how's it looking at your car and not being able to drive it? A little frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> 
your sister or your mom did the same thing to me when I was 16. She she picked out a car uh, that was a stick. So uh, when do you think you're going to go cruising on the town? Uh, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> he's uh, he's pretty interested in that car, isn't he? A little bit. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, happy birthday to you. What day was your birthday? December 3rd. December 3rd. And when did you get your actual physical driver's license? December 3rd. You had it all ready to go, didn't yep. you? And so the state sent it to you right at the right time. Yep. Yeah, there you go. You're going to have your driver's license, too, when you're 16, right? Yeah, the day I turn 16. Yeah, you're going to be driving me around. I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with more of the Keniston Family Band in just moments on News Channel Nebraska. All right. Uh, welcome back to quarant Welcome back to quarantine tonight on News Channel Nebraska. We are so glad you're here. It's a Wednesday night. We're almost to a fun weekend. And uh, if you're at home tonight, I hope you're comfortable. You're on the couch. You're on the enjoying uh, the music that we have because we're enjoying you watching. And uh, next Monday, by the way, we have a band called Come Together, which is a Beatles tribute band. Uh, we're excited to have them. They're out of the Omaha area. On Tuesday, we have the New World Singers. Now, do you remember uh, Fred Ritter and Voice House? They're, they did the all a cappella. Uh, almost all of his kids are in the music business somewhere as music educators. Well, his son is uh, at Columbus High School, and uh, they're going to have a couple of New World Singers here. Should be a very interesting show. And then next Wednesday, December 16th, we have the Accordionettes, which is an all polka uh, quartet with more all female uh, polka band from Wilbur, Nebraska. They mixed in a few guys. They're coming in. Uh, they started in high school in Wilbur. They've been on the show one time before, and uh, they do traditional fun polka right here on News Channel Nebraska. So if you are missing your polka, it's coming back. All right. So the Keniston Family Band is getting ready. Uh, your brother's always kind of the last one to show up. What's that about? He seems to be. I don't know what this problem is. Uh, yeah. I, I have to take care of everything. I just got done. Okay. Well, <laughs> he's back and he's happy. So ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome back to Keniston Family Band to News Channel Nebraska. Oh, thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> yeah, Roger is, uh, he doesn't feel a whole lot of pressure. He's been a, a guitar picker for a long time. So, yeah, uh, we're going we're gonna to feature Roger and Vanessa on this old tune. This is an old dance tune that uh, their mom and dad played a number of times over the years. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. Sweet melody called doodly do, doodly do. Well, I like the rest, but the one I love best called doodly do, doodly do. It's the simplest thing. There isn't much to it. All you gotta do is doodly do it. I love you so. Wherever I go, doodly doodly do. Oh, go, Sweet melody called doodly do, doodly do. Well, I like the rest, but the one I love best called doodly do, doodly do. It's the simplest thing. There isn't much to it. All you gotta do is doodly do it. I love you so. Wherever I go, doodly doodly do. One more
that sweet melody called doodly do, doodly do. It ain't really like the rest, but the one I love best calls doodly do, doodly do. It's the simplest thing. There isn't much to it. All you gotta do is undoodly do it. I love you so. Wherever I go, doodly do. Oh, taking us back to the days of the Bobby Keniston and the Country Tones. We'll send that out to all of our Kapaw County friends. How about that? And our Carlock dancing friends from back in the day. Here we're gonna do another Christmas song. Let's uh, let's team up on a nice uh, slow song, Bing Crosby tune. You can all sing along if you like. Little thing here called the White Christmas. I don't know how we feel about a White Christmas. I know. Uh, I don't know. We need the moisture, right? Yeah, we do. We do. And I'm going to be in Texas, so let us know, let us know, let us know. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> love you so, love you so, love you so. <laughs> well, I guess that's what happened. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the The tree tops glisten and children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. Send this out to our wah hooligan friends. Sing along one more time. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know where the tree tops glisten and chill.
Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness. That was pretty. We probably should do something to redeem ourselves after that. You know that. what? What? With all this kind of <laughs> mist around, uh -huh. we're seeing? A little fog? Yeah. You know what happens after the fog comes out? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it might be, you know. Yeah, I, I missed the forecast, but I yeah. think it's going to cool it, down. Yeah, it might be. Roger, you feel like picking and singing another song for us? What would you like? I think you should. Why don't you do I Don't Know a Darn Thing About Love? And we'll send it out to our friend Angel. <laughs> I have a friend Angel. This, you do I have a friend song. Angel, yeah. It's an old Conway Twitty song, and uh, we we took a nice, uh, slow Conway Twitty song, and we like to say we kind of bluegrassed it up a little bit. So we're going to give you our version of this little thing here called I Don't Know a Thing About Love. If I took a notion or made the mountains tremble or the rivers run dry, but in all matters human, remember there's someone involved in these things way above you and I. I don't know a thing about love, just kind of hang here above. What I watch from the sky. If I took an ocean or make the mountains tremble or the rivers run dry, but in all matters human, remember there's someone involved in those things way above you and I. Thank you, Roger. Good job. Hey, Bobby, will you slow it down a little bit for us and do that old uh, Leuven Brothers song you were going to do? Oh, yes. Would yeah. you please? I don't remember what the name of it is. Oh, 
Oh, yes, great old tune here. One called My Baby's Gone. This is the Leuven Brothers song, and uh, lots of other folks have recorded this as well. Hold back the rushing minutes, make the wind lie still. That was beautiful. Thank you, Bobby. Very nice indeed. Great song from the Leuven Brothers. So uh, as uh, Bobby was singing that so eloquently, I had a thought. I need to make a public service announcement. Is that all right, Mike? <laughs> if I make a public service announcement. <laughs> hey, listen, we've got some birthdays in the family and in the house as well. Ava's birthday was just a little while ago. And we already mentioned uh, Bobby Joe's daughter, granddaughter Shelby. Has a birthday tomorrow. Yes. And you know who else has a birthday coming up, Bobby Joe? Not a clue. Bobby Joe does. No. So, <laughs> my public service announcement is this <laughs> if you sing happy birthday gathered around the table with your friends and family at home, make sure you do it in a happy little ditty 
like we're about to right here. We'll send this out to all of our polka friends. We're going to sing happy birthday right now to everybody. Are you ready, Roger? Oh, it's polka time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone celebrating a birthday this year? There's only a few more days left to celebrate this year. Yes, so, happy birthday. Hey, we're going to slow it up a little bit now. Play something now, Vanessa. We'll have Vanessa do one. You want to do that uh, uh, Amelia Earhart's Last Flight song? Sure. Well, this is going way back to the late 30s. This song... Uh, Come to us from Red River Dave. It's a, it's a history lesson for all of you history buffs out there. And all these years later, this song about Amelia Earhart, and we still don't know where she ended up. A ship out on the ocean, just a speck against the sky. Amelia Earhart lying sad that day. Then the ocean took her by the sails upon the foam. Better to her ocean on away. There's a beautiful So this was her signal weak, but still the voice was brave. In the sharp infested water, her plane came down that night into Pacific to a watery grave. There's a beautiful, beautiful face.
I've heard my story of that awful tragedy. We pray that she might fly home safe again. But in years to come to other blaze a trail across the sky. We'll never forget Amelia and her place. There's a beautiful, beautiful thing far away in that land that is fair. Happy landings to Quarantine tonight here on News Channel Nebraska. These are the Kenistons, and uh, by the way, you uh, may not know this, but they have a very large country music show in Wahoo. Uh, is it going to happen this next well, year? Well, I certainly hope so, don't you? Yes. Are you going to come and be with us? You need to be. Now, this is in June, right? It's in June, yep. I think the dates are 23rd through the 27th of 2021. And where in Wahoo do you do it? It's at the fairgrounds for the bulk of the week. Uh, Thursday night, we have a dance out at the Starlight. All right. Yeah. The Starlight Ballroom is always, of course, a part of Wahoo, but Absolutely. then the Saunders County Fairgrounds, where are they in Wahoo? Like um, They are on the southeast corner of town. Okay. And uh, Easy for Lincoln to get there? Yeah, very easy for Lincoln to get there. It's a beautiful facility. They have a lot of nice new buildings, air conditioning, which is always nice that time oh, of year. Oh, yes. Important. And <laughs> we have uh, three stages that uh, go all day and all night, plus a lot of jamming around. We'll have, well... Hopefully, after everyone's been stuck at home for a year, <laughs> we'll have maybe a couple hundred campers that come and spend the week with us there in Wahoo. So, Well, hopefully they roll the vaccine out. As many <laughs> yes. people as want, get it. I and hope uh, so. I tell you what, I used to be uh, on the radio in Lincoln on Froggy 98. Have you ever uh, heard of that station? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was Jimmy Hoppa. <laughs> That was my frog name. Uh -huh. And uh, I ended up at the Starlight Ballroom a few times uh, for country bands that were there for the radio station and uh, had a great time. It is a great ballroom. It's been redone. Totally remodeled, yes. And uh, there are a lot of different bands that perform there throughout the year. So uh, hopefully we're getting back into the... Uh, practice of having bands, right? I hope so. This can't get a, this can't go on forever, <laughs> and I have this feeling, this premonition, that when we can get all together, it's going to get kind of wild. Yeah, it, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time, again. especially in Kiapaha County, right? <laughs> you socially distance for a living up there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. we try hard. <laughs> so maybe nothing will change when the vaccine comes out, but. Uh, we hope you're enjoying this. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a very quick break. We've got more with the Kittiston Family Band uh, until 10 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Mountain. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight here on this Wednesday night. We're so glad you're here. Just uh, less than 20 minutes left on our show and uh, the Kittiston Family Band here. They all kind of grew up in Kiapaha County, and uh, she's going to Winter, South Dakota tomorrow. Tonight. So she, tonight, tonight. Oh, my goodness. She'll be there tomorrow. She'll, she'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> How many hours is that, by the way? Uh, well, I'm about guessing a hard three. A hard three? three? But that's nothing from somebody from Ord or Kiapaha County. Right. Three hours? That's Wide open. open. That's open. You tell somebody from Omaha three hours, it's a day trip. <laughs> Oh. Right? This is side of Denver. Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you tell somebody from Omaha, hey, you're heading to Columbus. Oh, we're going to have to take a day trip there. I'm giving you folks in Omaha a hard time. Uh, you tell somebody from Kiapaha County three hours, that's just like a middle of the day yeah. jaunt. That's going checking the cows. Yeah, that's yeah, just checking the cows, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, here's the Kenniston Family Band. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Thank you so much. We're gonna have Roger play you a nice tune. It really needs no introduction. I hope you enjoy it. He always does a fine job of playing the guitar on this song.
Mr. Roger Keniston, Silent Night. Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to have Bobby do, an, do another song. And actually, I requested this. This takes me back many years when you was just a youngin'. You're still just a youngin'. <laughs> but you were really a youngin' back in the day when you used to do this song. We had a request for it. So we're going to put Bobby to work on this old tune here. It tells you a little story about the old man in the park. Park. Good job, Bobby. It's been a long time, but you did well. Hey, I got to do a request that I didn't get in the last time we were here, and we ran out of time. But uh, I'm going to do it for you all right now. I'm going to send this out to Dixie Wiedemann. And also, just in case he's tuned in, my good friend on from 540 AM KWMT Radio, Country Music Hall of Fame DJ, Mr. Dale Eicher. Occasionally, he plays this song on his radio station. So we're going to send this song out to you. One of my most requested tunes, a little thing here by Leona Williams called Yes, Ma'am. Yes, 
best man. He met me in a honky tone. And I'm sure I'm not the kind of girl you want your son to know. And yes, ma'am, I know you think that it's all wrong. But if he Yes, I know that he deserves the best, and there's better girls than me. But please don't quarrel with me. I love him, can't you see? And yes, ma'am, he met me where the lights are low. And I've seen the other side of town. Where good girls shouldn't go. Oh, pick it right there. Yes, ma'am, he's held me in his loving arms, and he's not the first to capture me with his cowboy charm, and yes, ma'am, I've done some things I'm not proud of, but who's to judge who's right or wrong once you had the taste? of love Yes, I know that he deserves the best and there's better girls than me But please don't quarrel with me I love him, can't you see And yes, ma'am I parted with the crazy crowd But someone just like your loving son helped to show me how. Yes, someone just like your loving son helped to show me how. Oh, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. <clears throat> hey, we're going to do another uh, Christmas tune. I want to get this in before our time runs out. I want to send this out to everybody from Fillmore County, and especially Kelly Rule, who I lost track of, but she and I sang this as a duet when I was a junior, and she was a senior, and we were on the radio in York, Nebraska. How about that? I wonder if she remembers that. <laughs> I've never heard anybody else do this song, and uh, Kelly brought it into the music room, and, and she and I did a, a duet on it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one for you. Do this for all my friends in Exeter, Nebraska. Midnight prayer so softly whispered in a cathedral's candlelight sends the message of the holidays on a snowy Christmas night. Holly wreaths and hidden mistletoe Symbols of the season's mind Joyful faces everywhere you go On a snowy Christmas night Give thanks for all you've been blessed with And hold your loved ones tight For you know snowy Christmas night 
Mother Nature wears a bridal gown. All the world is dressed in white. There's a silent glow that fills the earth on the snowy Christmas night. Give thanks for all you've been blessed with and hold your loved ones tight. For you know the Lord's been good to you on this snowy Christmas night. Yeah, you know Merry Christmas from the Keniston Family Band. You know, this music reminds me, if I were uh, driving on the on the freeway outside of Nashville listening to WSM radio, this is what you'd hear, isn't it? This is the music of the South. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Yeah. But none of you come from the South. No, we're all Where did you right. learn this? Where did you learn this? From our family. I mean, Roger and I, we, we grew up. Um, well, he first grew up, <laughs> he did it first, but we uh, slept in the drum box. He did it first, slept in the drum box while the drummer was playing when my, my dad and my mom were playing. Uh, all over uh, yeah, northern yeah, Nebraska, all southern all over, South yeah. Dakota? Yes. So, and then, and then her kids, her, she grew up that way, and then her kids grew up that way, and mine did too. So... It's, yeah, Mia never got to get to sleep in the base case because, yeah, you, you know, case. the base case is, is heavy and it, it, it fits that thing and all them kids would get in there and they would go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so. You didn't have a choice. Exactly. And your folks, this two brother and sister, he's married her. She's his daughter, by the way, just doing all the math for you. Um, <laughs> uh, where did where'd your folks get that old time country? That was the music of their day. Yeah, from their folks. I mean, our 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 parents, um, yeah. their parents played also. My my grandpa on the drum and grandma on the piano and and grandpa played the fiddle a little bit. What radio <laughs> station was coming into Keapaha <laughs> County with all this music? Uh, well, they. Well, WMAX. Oh, yeah. Back in the time, I uh, was doing a lot of live shows. And yeah. Stuff, you know, and they, they really, and, and Ben Norman and, and, uh, and Leonard. Uh, what's Leonard? I had a friend who ran a radio station in Gregory, South Dakota, uh, not too far from Keapaha County. What is Gregory? Uh, uh, is that a ways east? A little bit, yes, yes, okay. from us, yes, it is. I'm learning everything here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Keniston Family Band, we say good night from this undisclosed location. Make sure you watch out for their Wahoo Music Show in June. It's 10 o'clock.